This is the first day of it. This is the kickoff day. We had a parade earlier this afternoon with uh, 160 boats, probably close to $12 million worth of fishing hardware on the streets of Nippon. So it's a pretty impressive sight. This is a big deal. At $35,000 first place, uh, Nippon is a big deal as far as fishing. We're sold out. People are scrambling for campsites out at the regional park in Nippon and hotel rooms here in town. And also we've got a lot of different cabins and different accommodations, so they, these guys are, are scrambling to get those places and get them booked a year in advance. It's 160 teams with two-person two teams, so 320 fishermen, including the Premier of Saskatchewan, Brad Wall. We put an extra five teams in because we invited all the former champions back. I've been lucky. I have won this tournament three times. Uh, I won it in 1999 with a fellow from Swift Current, Brian Koshin. And then I was uh, had the opportunity to fish with my son. And we won it two years back to back in 2007 and 2008, I think. So, yeah, it's been great. Well, we don't have no walleye fishing in where I'm from. It's all gulf fishing. And uh, I don't know, there's something about walleye fishing that makes you want to come back. Tomorrow starts at 7 a.m. on the water. The first flight goes out, and then the last flight will go out at 8 o'clock. They go in, in uh, 15 minute intervals, so there's uh, four flights total. They got the volunteer fire department down there every morning and have an evening to load the boats. And it don't take long to put them in the water and get them out. Uh, you're going to see 90% of the field at the far end down near Eagle's Nest. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see 140 out of the 160 boats working in a mile stretch of the river. It's kind of the far boundary where it starts turning into lake, and that's where the bigger fish are going to be coming, moving in, and that's where the water's going to clear up the first. So uh, that's where the fishing will be, and I know that's where the fishermen will be. I've got a black lund. You'll see about 100 of them out there. Black lund with a, a Mercury 250 horse Optimax on it. Just uh, eight or 10 feet of line and a but a number eight hook and a live leech on, and, and that's that's how almost all the fish are caught. So it's nothing fancy. You can you can put all the tackle you need uh, for a whole week in the palm of your hand. If you're on a lake and you get a great big wind or or lightning storm or something, it can shut the fish right down. Doesn't seem to be quite as bad on the river system, and with a fishery like this, there's always fish around. There will be some big fish caught, no doubt. The camaraderie, uh, the guys that are here have been here year after year. We've got four gentlemen in this, uh, four teams in this in this tournament that have been here every year for 25 years. Uh, the town is very receptive to everything. Uh, they handle all your needs. I talked to some fellows from Alberta yesterday. Went uh, for lunch with them at their campground. Uh, they were telling me that not only is it the is it a great tournament but we've got the biggest fish in the world. Two, one small, one big. They're just no better friends than there is a nipper one. I've been up here fishing for 21 years. We fished in the rain, we fished when the sun was shining, we fished when it was snowing, and <laughs> as long as I'm willing and able. Team eight, two fish. You know, the 
walleyes are elusive. They can be there today and gone tomorrow. Yeah, th nothing's ever the same, and you never quit learning. I mean, these guys put on a class one show, the, the banquet, the facilities here, the fishing is, is, you know, best, some of the best in the world. There's no doubt about that. Uh, it's really hard to pick a best, but for me, right now, spending time with my son uh, is probably tops it all. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on SASTEL Max Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com.